Hey everybody, this is Chad from Kellen and Crankbait Supply Company, and uh, we're here to do an unboxing of the latest Catching Concepts, and this one's kind of a special one. It's um, a new release of a new model um, called the Mini B, and Catching Concepts has been working on this for about two years, and um, we're super excited about it. We got a chance to test the prototype and uh, did really well with it. We're really happy with the action, and uh, with no further ado, let, let's go take a look. I know you guys are tired of looking at me. So we got this flipped around and we already had a avalanche. So we just poured those out. Uh, it looks like we've got some special ones here with decals. Uh, looks like paper decals he put in. So let's take a look at one of these. Oh, wow. A splatterback. Uh, it seems to be a pale chartreuse. And there's some writing underneath. So let's pull this out of the package and take a look at it. Yeah, so this is a very very pale chartreuse I'm super excited about this and it has the orange belly and the dark uh, black or charcoal splatter back it looks like and you notice that uh, first off you notice that Lexan square bill and the um, line tie the line tie straight into the nose let's give it some freedom to operate and then you have the ballast hanger which is also stainless and the rear screw eye, which is stainless. And these come with the extra wide gap hooks. These are Mustad. Those are all he uses currently. So I noticed something special about this one, uh, other than the decal. I noticed there was some writing underneath, so let's flip that over. Okay, so um, this is a special edition. Um, here it says, first run, 19 of 25. So... Uh, we have 25 of these, and um, I guess that's all that's going to be made of this. Uh, so that's pretty doggone neat to know that these were the first ones he made. Okay. Um, so now that we have this out, let's just take a look at um, maybe the weight and the measurements for, for this guy. Let me get the trusty old OG scale over here. Yeah, so, all right. And let's just translate that to grams, so 12 grams. Okay. And and then let's take a, a look at the measurement for the body length. Okay, so that's right at 46 millimeters which I believe translates into around two inches, maybe just a hair shorter than that, but spectacular color, huge fan of the splatterbacks. We've always used this as a crappy surrogate um, around our parts, um, but fantastic. I, I've always just fascinated with the way that um, a splatterback looks in the water. Love that Lexan bill. Uh, I think that's gonna be the bill for this model. It seems to fit really well for the width and the profile see this wide body on it so this is probably almost double what his 0.5 width is for the body and these obviously move a ton of water they're smaller than the junior and obviously smaller than the super B uh, we did uh, get to test the prototype uh, did really well with it um, over the past several weeks um, so super excited about getting some different colors of these in and congratulations on the release Herman so uh, let's keep moving. Let's let's see what other colors are in here in this giant pile. Where should I pick from? Let's let's pick from the front. SH4. I was so hoping he was gonna do this color. Oh my gosh, one of my favorites. It's a crowd pleaser too. Um, lots of folks love this color. Uh, let's take it out of the packaging so you guys can take a look. Here's the SH4. Now this was originally a Bagley color to the very best of my knowledge. Jim Bagley and his crew came up with this color, but I love all the different iterations that are out there. Herman's is obviously one of my favorites. We 
but you pick up all those blues, the golds, the purple, and the pearls he uses, that peachy throat. Yeah, great, great, great color. Okay, let's keep going. What's next? Uh, well, I see heat right in front of us, so let's pull that one. Now, this is a color that uh, Herman's probably had around me. I'm gonna guess about five years. Um, maybe, yeah, probably around 17, I'm gonna guess. Great, great red crawl color. You guys can see the detail on that. It's got some different micro uh, flake in there. Some gold, it might be holographic, but in those charcoal stripes for the contrast. All right, what else? What else is in this giant pile? Where should I pick from? The back? Okay. Huh. Okay, so this almost looks like a mix of the baby lemonade he did in Shasta. So let, let's, let's take this out since we're not familiar with it. Take a, a closer look. Okay, here we go. Uh, so there's no... Um, no name for this color yet. I'll, I'll get with Herman to get the name, but it definitely looks like a mix of Shasta and his Baby Lemonade. Those deep maroon eyes. It's got the gill plate on it. Ghost scaling. If you guys can see that, I'll try and turn it so you can see the scaling. Let me get a little closer. There we go. Fantastic work on these. Yeah, you can see that gold ghost. There you go. It's starting to pop now. Really liking this color. Nice color for the mini bee. All right, let's keep moving. What's next? Where should I pull from? How about the middle this time? All right, Supreme Brim. Now I think some of you guys are familiar with this. Uh, he just recently painted this color code with the new release um, of the CCS1. Fantastic gill color. You can see all the different layering he did. Love the chartreuse on this. It brings that peach down on the ballast weight. Love the Supreme Brim. Okay, what's next? Uh, how about right here in the front? Let's see what that is. Oh, new color, sort of? Yeah, I think so. Let's see. Yeah, uh, I haven't seen it. It's almost in that same um, bandit realm that he's done the Tar Heel Bandit, but it's almost got that Pro Lavender stripe on the back. So I'll have to get with him on the name on this one. So let's take this out since it's a new color so everyone can see it. All right, so we're back with the, out of the package. Uh, first thing I'm, it's grabbing me are those, um, those metallic sides, those sidebars, and then that purple back. Very happy with this color. This is outstanding work. And I'm seeing um, some mid blue, mid light blues undertone, and then I guess the pearl, uh, and that bleeds into chartreuse on the throat going down to the ballast weight. I like this one a lot. Okay, uh, moving on. So we're up to six colors. Um, let's see, what about... Go in the back. Let's see what this one is. Okay, nuclear cantaloupe. And you can see that uh, different webbing um, that he's been using. 
it's almost like a spooky webbing it gives it such a cool scaling effect so it fades from that nuclear orange she's using into kind of like a uh, bronze and you can see that chartreuse under underneath great color for mini bee great contrast on this for those muddy muddy days after heavy rains this is going to be a killer color all right let's keep going let's see if we can find a different color oh nelly i see it poking out right there look at that one of his all-time classics magic crawl let's take let's take a look at that one Maybe it's been a while for guys. Um, the ones that know, know this is just a straight up catch fish color. Yeah, so let's, let's take this one out and take a quick look. Yeah, this is Magic Crawl. So you see that off-white. You see the off-white here. And then it fades up into kind of this goldish orange. And then um, I always love that dark green back. It has the red eyes. And then he does like a peachy belly on these. Yeah, you can notice the belly colors there. Yeah, so one thing about these is um, they're going to be in that same pricing uh, realm as the junior and uh, the, the full size B. Um, so majority of these will be at the $33 price point. And um, I believe um, the limited edition numbered one will be slightly elevated. Um, nothing too crazy. Um, give everybody a look at this one more time. Once again, this is Magic Crawl. Yeah, I could venture out to say I've caught the majority of my fish uh, using catching concepts uh, with this particular color. Uh, it has just been phenomenal for us. It just represents so many things in the water to me. All right, and I believe he quoted nine colors, so I think we're at one two three four five six seven eight so there should be one more color in here that we've got to dig through and find so let's start flipping this stuff over and see if we can find it i think i just found it yep this is it this is number nine another all-time favorite of his this is the sunset crawl, and I believe he did it in the uh, the OG pattern, the original. So for those that are not familiar, this is uh, one of his best patterns, in my opinion. Um, you're going to have that complete contrast from the that deep cherry red on top, all the way down to that that pearl on the belly. So let's pull this out so you guys can take a close look. So sunset crawl, mini V. I know lots of dreams are coming true for lots of folks. Um, hoping and wishing that this pattern was going to get painted for the release. I know I'm super excited. You can see that orange's throat. And then that pearl white. And that chartreuse fades up into kind of an orange into that metallic red. I love the contrast. He used the old um, template for the uh, bars on the side, those crawl lines. I, I honestly f would fish this color um, 12 months out of the year. I absolutely love it. All right, guys, I figured we'd go over the colors just one more time and show you the nine colors that came in and um, just kind of 
go over uh, how we're going to uh, release these and how we're going to sell these uh, coming up. And for the most part, it's going to be standard fare. Um, we will set limits on these, of course. <clears throat> so the um, the eight colors that are on the outside perimeter, um, those will be two per person, um, per color. And then uh, for the limited release, uh, we're just going to limit that to um, uh, one per person. Yep. So just because there's just a select amount of those, um, and once again, they'll probably have a slightly elevated price point. Um, the ones on the outside perimeter, there's are gonna be 33 each. Yeah, so there's your lineup for the nine for the first run of the Super Bees. And um, we will have these on our Etsy page uh, within the next three or four days, um, hopefully. And um, we will point to you how to get there and um, talk about the specs uh, once again and um, I think with that um, that's it and we're super super excited about having these um, and you can see the crank avalanche over here just the mountain of different ones we have um, we're gonna have these uh, until they sell out and, and we'll just see how it goes. And um, one, this is the first wave and, and I hope that there will be many, many more waves of them. Uh, lots of different classic colors that he's done in the past. So um, thank you for tuning in and um, we're super excited about these and we'll get these out to everybody uh, as quickly as possible. And we hope that um, you guys do as well with them as we did. and. Um, always, you know, try and send us some pictures if you, if you catch some big fish on these, but, uh, thanks for tuning in and, uh, we'll catch you guys out on the water.